What's up guys? Today we're looking at this. This is a Benchmade bug out. This is a special version of the Benchmade bug out with uh, aluminum handles. These nice starburst of aluminum handles. Look at that. Nice arrays. Oh my goodness, my focus is off. Look at this. There you go. That's better. It's these nice milling lines in the aluminum on both sides. And this bug out has M390 steel. It's pretty cool. A lot of those, uh, uh, there's a lot of different steels that bug outs can have, but this M390 is pretty nice. Originally, this knife had red thumb studs and red barrel spacers, but the previous owner took those and uh, replaced them with these nice titanium bronze, bronze titanium uh, replacements here, standoffs and barrel spacer, which I uh, think it looks all right. Uh, looks pretty nice. It kind of subdues the fanciness. It looks makes it look a little bit more um, darker tone. Kind of deal. I don't know. I like it. Looks all right. This is a standard bug out. Nice handles. Nice blade. Excellent action. Bug outs usually have pretty good action. This one's particularly nicely drop shut. Look it out and drop shut like that. You can see there. The action's just fine. Nothing. Nothing insane. Nothing bad. It's all. It's, it's great. If, if you've ever tried bug out or an axis lock. It's just like that. It's actually better, I think, than the Grivery ones. This one, at least, is just it feels better, a little bit better. Not like amazingly better, but just just a bit better. Um, this is just a bug out. It's got, I mean, as you can see in there, it's got the cartridge that holds the whole axis lock, can you know, thing in there, the whole bar and all the springs and everything. And uh, yeah, it's just some very simple design. Bug outs aren't super complicated. It's just you know, the lock and then the pivot and the this runs on washers, not bearings, uh, as a lot of bench fades that do. Most bench fades are on washers and not bearings. It's got, you know, as I said, the barrel spacers instead of a back spacer. You can get aftermarket parts for these, as he already did, the previous owner did. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you get different scales, different, you know, different hardware, different colors, all kinds of stuff. You can get back spacers, everything. Uh, this one feels nice in hand. It's comfier, like, I don't know, I think it's slightly comfier than the Grivery ones. It just feels more substantial in your hand. It feels like you're holding a really, you know, solid, good knife, you know, compared to something a little bit smaller. It doesn't give you as much confidence in your hand as this one does, as the normal ones do. Uh, but it feels good. It definitely feels good. Oh, I'm gonna, this gives me a chance to show off my whole bug out collection, because I haven't really shown it in a lot of videos before, but I have quite a few bug outs. My first bench made bug out was actually this one right here. This is uh, a gray, uh, gray uh, it was an OD green handled with a gray blade bench made bug out. And this here was the first one I ever bought, and it's a first production. It's pretty cool. So, this is the part of the first 1200 that were ever made, which I think is pretty awesome. And I put these uh, Putman scales on here, these green uh, micarta Putman scales. They look nice. And uh, it's got these nice little mailing lines in it. I think it looks really nice. Looks fancy. That's cool. kind of cool. I don't know. I just I like these scales. They look cool. And uh, so that was my first one that I got. Um, I used that one for a long time. And then I bought the second one I ever got was I believe was this one. I got this at a knife show actually. I traded for it. And uh, it's just a, it's a, one of the exclusive. This was a done by Knives Plus, or one, one of the retailers did this thing where they uh, dyed the scales this nice red, burgundy red color, which I thought looked pretty cool, and I was able to trade for it, and uh, it's awesome. I use this one a lot, um, but it looks super cool. So that was the second one I got. Definitely a cool color to have in the collection, and then after that, I managed to track down this knife. This is a stock Benchmade blue bug out. It has a nice satin blade. And this one is also a first production run, as you can see there. So this was one of the first thousand of the blue handled ones that were made. So that's really cool. These are all S30V. All of these top ones are. Um, so that was the third bug out I got. They're all pretty sweet. Stay in frame there. Okay, and then I wanted to get a user one. Oh dear. Oh. 
I wanted to get a user bug out. Sorry about that. Uh, and so I bought a stock one, as you can see here, which looks sweet. Uh, it's just standard eventually bug out. So this is the one I use. It's a little bit tight right now because I tightened it. But, uh, yep, just another standard bench weight bug out. So you can see here, I've got a lot of them. Um, they're sweet. They're great. Uh, I use this one the most. I've used this one. I've used that one. I haven't really used this one as much because it's the first production. Um, uh, but, yeah, they're good. Good knives. Um, very simple. Not very complicated. Um, nothing super special about them. They're just very light. They're very light. That's kind of like their selling point. If you really want a nice light knife that works for everything you need, bench made bug out might be the way to go because the axis lock is really strong and uh, it's pretty secure. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Good solid lock up on this one. This one's like completely stock, like new blade, everything. There's nothing. It has a little bit of a little bit of nicks on the handle, but like back here, it has a little bit of a nicks down there. From the last owner but other than that it's pretty brand new so it's sweet yep so this is just a fancier version of the bug out that i got to check out and uh, i think it looks nice we'll compare it to some other knives just because some zt knives just quickly here you know smaller than those of course you know if you guys know the size of a bug out you know it's not a super huge knife it's just kind of smallerish design kind of similar to a qsp penguin a little bit smaller than that. Um, and some other bench made designs, the uh, full size Adamus and the full size, there we go, Freak, as you see there. Definitely smaller than both of those. Um, and uh, that's about it. So, out of the weight of this guy, let's take the weight on this because I want to compare it to the G10 or the Grivery model. So, this one, oh, come on, there we go. Let's compare it, let's see, the normal size bench made bug out, normal one, stock, in blue, comes in at 1.9 ounces, and this one, with the aluminum handles, is 2.5 ounces, so you're getting, you know, like a half an ounce for these nice, substantial, you know, aluminum handles, and uh, I think it's worth it, I think these are nice, I have definitely want to try a bug out in titanium, I think that'd be really cool, I've heard those are nice, but uh, yeah, it's a good knife, and uh, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what your favorite bench weight tonight is, and if you like the bug out. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Um, that's it. Bye.